Fox foot. Oh, his place. He's phenomenal. Right, so. You already. This is like a perfect quinceanera place. <laughs> right? Look, people have graduation. Yeah, everything happens in here, man. The whole I've shit. I've actually been to some shit over here when I was way younger. Something Come about weird. Quinceaneras, bar <laughs> bar mitzvahs. And now fucking battle contract signing. Yeah, yeah. I've never been nothing like this. Bro, we went to extreme lengths to make yep. this happen. It wasn't cheap. We spared no expense. And uh, just hoping that it... The culmination of all the hard work comes together because you know it's uh, it means a lot to a lot of people, and this is going to be potentially something that's really culturally significant for a long time. Or maybe it'll suck. We'll see. Cameras out. Be nice. Hey, hey, be nice. Public speaking now. Public yeah, speech. We have battle. a public speech battle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah let's keep trying. I, I, I let him win. But the mm. thing is that we, we got to we got to compare my three four minutes to three four minutes of his. He's about to go over the time limit. <laughs> So essentially, do like 10, so essentially, my speech is the speech version of a disaster battle. Well, this is the contract. It's not the real one, but you know, we made a secondary version of the contract, just the more simple one that we're gonna sign on the spot with golden pens. Robert, yeah, she brings you the shit. Yeah, you hold it, walk it over. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I walk it over. You guys sign. Then after um, this you is guys, about to look crazy, by the way. This then after after you guys sign, I walk over there. You guys are just with the, I bring your rift and pen with me. You guys are taking pictures or whatever. And I say, Ken Crooked and Diz, please join us on the podium. We will now field a Q and A from the media and all interested parties. You know, we had a dream and we chased it and made it reality to not only, you know, restore the culture over here on the West, but to bring back our brothers home from down south, from the Midwest, and from the East Coast. You know what I'm saying? This is a family thing. And we want everybody to know, even though it seems super Westy, we're on a whole different thing. Yeah, it's the West, but it's about everybody this time. We, we, we bring everybody through because there's way too much talent. Without any further ado, we gonna run this trailer for you guys. Enjoy it.
lyricists in here. I see some real battle rap royalty in here. You know what I'm saying? I see Tash, I see Brass Cat, I see, I see the culture in here, you know what I'm saying? I feel like going in here with disaster, I feel like I walked into a motherfucking lion's cage and the zookeeper locked the fucking door behind me, you feel me? Now what? Motherfucking gladiator MC wouldn't want to be in that motherfucking cage. You know what I'm King Cody vs. Aster is going to be in Los Angeles, California. He's coming into the ring to do a standard fucking battle. So if it's happening here in LA, and it's happening soon, you'll find out today. Other than that, I appreciate you all for coming. The guests that came here, everybody, the photographers, the filmers, and most importantly, the MCs that showed up today. Yeah. Some of us drink, and, and I don't, but Shout out to Martin some Martin Nelly's in the building. And Shout out to Martin Nelly. Yeah, got pass in the building. Come on. Now, celebrating, sometimes you got to at least be present in the moment. So, you be present in the moment. We did that pretty well. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Come on. Good shit. Good shit, y'all. Come on.